but we're headed to Bear Paw Hunts in the great state of Montana. Right he, won't, he won't cross our fence. He's got cover, water, and food. I still can't even believe this is happening. I feel like a jack-in-the-box. November the first. That's a good one. That's a good one. The 13th cent of the week, and we finally hit pay dirt. Deer right out there. Yep. It's just of course, there's deer. Just the one. <laughs> there's deer everywhere here. I mean, you, you literally just you can about look any direction and see deer. But the deer that we're after were what what size bucks? Oh. Like white tails? Do you have what size? I know you have giants, but yeah. But I mean, I, average. A average mature white tail here would probably be uh, 150 to 160 inches. Okay. And uh, of course we've killed 190s. Yeah. And uh, average mature mule deer, I would say, is 170 to 180. Gotcha. And uh, killed 190s of them too. But uh, don't find many of those. We're just looking for a good mature deer. Hopefully a hopefully a white tail, six years old or older. That's getting out we saw a little rut in action yesterday so hopefully they're starting to get with it with this snow on the ground and everything maybe is getting fired up so you had a hunter in camp last week that hunted this particular whitetail for yes. five days mm -hmm. and he came really really close to jumping the fence and getting on the other side he squatted Doug. he squatted but he didn't jump squatted but didn't jump so uh <laughs> Good news for me, bad news for him. Right. But right. this is the white tail right here that we're going to go after, yes. correct? Yes. Yep. This afternoon. And what do you feel like he'll score? Uh, he, he's over 60, maybe pushing 70. Okay. 170. Well, come around here and we'll show you what happened. I guess 169 on the button. <laughs> He'll do for me, buddy. I can tell you that. I don't have to, I don't have to see him very long to know that's a shooter. So, that being said, what's the deal with this deer, and why why can you not shoot him right where he he's won't, at? He won't cross our fence. He's got cover, water, and food in a 30-acre spot, and he doesn't like to come out. I don't know if he can cross the fence. I haven't seen him do it. What do you think we can do to get him to to cross the fence? Just one well, of those deals. Hope he crosses. <laughs> Just a, it's hope, a doe, be, hope a doe takes him in the right direction. It's going to be divine intervention. It's going to yes. take God wanting us to it's, kill that buck gonna for take, him to jump. It's going to take more than we had in the last few days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you never know. I've been having a good year, yep. so you never know how the tides may right. turn. And if he... He's going to cross sometime. Hey. Might if, as well be now. If that's meant to be my deer, <laughs> he'll jump that fence. Yep. Well. I think it's the good white tail we were looking for. So you got an eyeball on him? Yep, got an eyeball on him. Just gotta get in there and see if we can get in and That's see if we can. That's a big old dark deer, man. From here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's, yeah. way, he's way darker way, than those yeah. other deer. He's well over a mile away right now. Probably. Oh, probably way. Probably getting close to two miles. That's what I was gonna say. It's at least, at least a mile. Oh, oh, back one and down. Pulls oh, back one and down. That's a big, that's a big deer. I don't know if it's him or not. Can, oh. you, cut, can you cut the truck yeah. off? Which one is he? He's oh, on the left of the two doves. Okay, I see him. Yeah, that's him right there. There's two bucks. Well, the one I just looked at was him. That's a really nice deer, man. Yeah, it is. 
So you're looking away from us? Yeah. Dang, that's a good one, <laughs> bud! That's a good one. That's a real good one. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm 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 hooked. This is Bear Paul Hunt's torture session. Where they bring the hunter and they show you the deer you want to kill. And he's just not right where he needs to be to kill him. And so you just sit there and you watch him. And you watch him. You get excited. Why are they running? That might be the best thing that's happened to us. Y'all, this is fixing to get awesome. He's running across. They're running. He's going. He's going for it. That is him, right? Yes. Yeah. Running right to left. Yep. He's running. What you think spooked him? I don't know. But I'm glad he did. Yep. Run, baby. Oh, I see the fence. Oh, baby, come on. Run it. My question is... Who's with him? The doe? So. Why? Yeah, the doe's behind him. Will They're he, backwards. Will he ever cross that fence? Is my He's running right for it. How long do we have to watch There's him? A coat or a deer one back in a ravine that he would be headed at. Whoop! He's jumped it. Alright, let's see where he goes and settles in at. Alright, if we can, if he'll miss this next drainage and keep moving, if he'll go into that deep one and get hit in there, then we shouldn't have any problem moving in on him. Let's get cracking. Let me look at him one more time. Where'd he go to? He's still right there. Hey, we might go over there and never find him, but we ain't gonna shoot him from here, so. We are uh, on the move. We are going all the way around. We're gonna try to get on that side of him. And hope the wind doesn't get us. I don't think it will the way. Yeah, I think the closer we stay to the fence down yes. the road, the better we are. Well, my thing is, if he does turn to come down to try to go back into yeah. that field, we still get a shot. can't even believe this is happening. I feel like a jack-in-the-box. November the 1st, baby. Get over here. I'm pumped, man. Oh, give me some. 
Got her done. Dude, I have hunted. Takes us a day. I have year. hunted, li literally. I have hunted in Montana now for a total of about 20 hours. 20 hours, maybe. Two different days. I told Jason, I said, look, I said, I I'm not picky by any means. I said, if it's if we find a big mule deer and he's a killable buck, let's get after him and and try to get him. And, and if not, you know, I'd really, honestly, what did I tell you? I'd rather go for a whitetail. And he said, man, I got some really big whitetails, but he said, I got one in particular we've been seeing quite a bit, and maybe we can get on him, but there's only one thing. He's got to cross that fence. And so he brought me down here, and we sat earlier, and he showed me what the deer had to do. And I said, there's no way. There's no way that that's going to happen. It's bull chasing. A bull, of all things, chased the deer. A moo bull. Man, I am, I am, I, let me, let me say this. This is a, an extremely reasonable hunt for a chance at a huge mule deer or a big whitetail. It's either or. And if you don't want to come experience the beauty of what we're looking at right now, I got a giant buck in front of me and I'm looking at literally the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen in my life. And if you don't want to come experience this, you are you are not a human being. You just can't be. You cannot look at that and not know that God is great. And he took care of me today. He's been taking care of me. We've just been rolling, man. We've just been rolling.
we were just sitting here and I just got through telling Dallas I said well <clears throat> we ain't got long I said by the time I take you back to the camp go check out the motel and head to Texas and Dallas had seen him cross and then here he come back out so it's a pretty good poke out there it's 166 yards and he bucked like a Brahma bull so we know we hit him so can't believe it we've been out here since my second trip out here to suspect outfitting with Jeb Bailey we've endured rain we've endured 25 mile hour winds we've had it all this morning big heavy frost in the 20s and we didn't wait to the last minute for on purpose trust me we have been sitting I think this is like our 13th set this week uh, we've been hunting hard we didn't give up so persist persistence has prevailed so we'll give him a few minutes and we'll break down we'll head that way and see what we got talking about the last second of the hunt. Dallas and I were sitting in the blind. We were just getting ready to pack up. I told him, I said, it's about time to break down. Mid-sentence, I told him, but about the time I take you back to camp, get to the motel, and then he says, buck, buck, buck. Happened really quick. We're right here with Jeb Bailey at Suspect Outfitting on the muzzleloader hunt in uh, Allen, Oklahoma. And it's been a struggle, man. We've had torrential downpours we've had high winds we've had frost we've had we've had it all the gamut we ran through it but we were persistent we laid in there the 13th set of the week and we finally hit pay dirt 